What is good, everybody? Today we have some brand new WWE action figure news from our MattelCreations.com WWE Revealed event, or I always say that. It's actually just a revealed event by Mattel Creations. The MattelCreations.com Revealed event that was taking place the last couple days, man, we had some different collectibles shown off from all kinds of different brands that are under the Mattel umbrella, such as Hot Wheels and Masters of the Universe and things of this nature. So we got to see a lot of really cool stuff here, man, and we're going to cover it all here today, man, breaking that down for the WWE action figure collectors now of course we did see the CM Punk figure that was gonna I believe be revealed today I thought that they were gonna you know put that up today as a part of the reveals but then I guess either there was some sort of mix up maybe or maybe they did this on purpose I'm not sure but WWE did post up the CM Punk early or Mattel Creations posted up the CM Punk figure early and so that figure was not a part of the event but I think originally it was supposed to be and they also actually pushed back the pre-order date or the actual launch date of the made to order purchase that you can make it was originally going to be on March 20th 22nd, which was today during the live stream, but apparently something happened and they moved it back to April 7th. So now this figure is not going up for launch for made to order until April 7th. So they did update the website. So we do have a couple weeks away now that the CM Punk figure will be going up for pre-order. I guess it technically it is pre-order, but it's made to order. So you can order as many as possible or whatever the hell you want to do there, man. You can put that order in and then they will be made. And then next year you'll get that order in there and all that different stuff. But they did move that pre-order back. I wanted to start the video with that information because it was put up to us that's that CM Punk figure has been pushed back so I just wanted to get on here and describe that man but we did have some pretty cool stuff revealed to us I'm going to get into all this stuff all the details man let's go ahead and dive in and talk about all the things that we got revealed to us and we'll of course break it all down for you guys so so the first thing that we got guys was the update or the next series that is going to be coming in the Coliseum collection we are all familiar with the Coliseum collection of course we've had four series so far they did reveal series number five which is going to be following the heart foundation was in series four and then in series five they did put up this man we are getting Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now, this is a very unique pack right here. Very unique. I think this is pretty crazy, to be honest with you, like breaking all the different lore about it. We but got to see images of the packaging. They're keeping the same consistent packaging across the board. It's going to be the same boxes that we've come to know with the graphic. You know, you have the full-length poster on one side, the other full-length poster on the other side, which we've, again, come to know. And it's the red and blue packaging, of course, paying homage to the LJN figures. But... I thought that, you know, these figures look pretty good. I think Ted DiBiase is an interesting selection. We haven't seen him in Ultimate Edition form. And what's really cool that they're doing with the Ultimate Edition line in terms of the Coliseum collection is I know a lot of people, when the when this entire saga started with the Ultimate Editions and we got Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior, everybody really felt that this was going to be the top of the top. They're going to put a lot of legends in this wave. They're going to continue to do so. And, you know, they followed that trend for a while where it was like one modern edition of a figure, one classic character or legendary status, Hall of Fame status style WWE superstar and then they kind of morphed it away to getting more current people in the line and I know a lot of people have said that they feel like you know the ultimate edition line isn't as prestigious as it once was you know because you're getting these ultimate editions of characters that maybe you didn't think you were going to get an ultimate edition of but I think what's cool about that is they're mixing Coliseum collection and getting those legendary superstars into that wave so that you can continue to collect not only legends but get modern talent into the line and they do play back and forth you know they do get legends into the main line too but I think that's unique how they've been able to do so so Ted DiBiase here and you know we've gotten Roddy Piper here we've gotten George the Animal Steel you know a lot of different examples of this throughout the Coliseum collections history so far but the Ted DiBiase figure man looks fantastic we're also getting the blue card and the black card chase variant and one thing that they showed off with the black card versus the blue card is the black card is actually going to come with different inserts you know those poster inserts the cardboard that separates the two figures in the packaging they're going to be a little bit different between the black card and the blue card at least that's what I took from the live stream but the Ted DiBiase figure looks sick as hell man look at these cloth good this cloth goods suit with the black and then you have the black and pink jacket that is money it looks like he has a cloth goods bow tie and shirt under there man so it's, it's giving me a lot of entrance greats vibes a little bit man very much throwback right there but I love this Ted DiBiase figure and not only that man you got a shot of what it's going to look like underneath it is the plain black gear you know nothing too crazy but uh not you know it's it does have the dollar bill signs on there or the dollar signs on there but it's still pretty plain Jane but I still like it I like the formula the head sculpts look really really good he's going to come with money and stuff so Ted DiBiase growing out his WWE Mattel action figures he actually has quite a bit and this could be the best one that they've ever done so we'll have to see about that man I feel like they have so many different looks of Ted DiBiase now with this Ultimate Edition so I'm very hyped for the Ultimate Edition Ted DiBiase and then 
we have Ricky the Dragon over here, man. Looking very good. A lot of people, I saw like 17 different people say that it looked like Bruce Lee. I don't think so. I, I'm not really getting Bruce Lee from these head sculpts. I think it looks pretty damn good. I like the yelling head sculpt. I like the smile. And then the other one is just his elite head sculpt that was, I think. I like all the head sculpts. I like the attire. It's plain black. It's not the, you know, the most interesting attire of all time. But again, you got to think, man, they're paying homage to the LJN. So in his LJN, I think he had two different LJNs, if I'm not mistaken. But the one LJN had, you know, no wrist tape, no nothing. He had the headband in there, and it was just in plain black trunks, I'm pretty sure, plain black tights. So I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. So, you know, it, it would be cool if they could get, like, you know, the red and black tights in there as well. But I don't really have an issue with it. I think the plain black looks really clean. And I want to say, wasn't there a white attire too or something like that? Maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping there. But, you know, and they've already done the white gear. So that's another thing. They already did the white gear. We've had red gear steamboat before. So getting the all black is a different take. I like it. Uh, I don't have any issues with that whatsoever but this this is a pretty cool pack i'm excited for this pack I have to see exactly you know what comes with the details and stuff like that and if the images aren't very good in this video it's because they haven't put up official images i waited a while around trying to get official images but i plugged in the best screenshots that i could find or the ones that i took myself so that's what we have going on here man but Coliseum Collection Series 5 is Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Very interesting, man. So let's go ahead and dive into the next pack set, man, which is very crazy. This this right here I thought was just, I mean, legendary to say the least, but this is crazy, man. This this coming up right here is the, we have the Legends of the Territory era featuring larger-than-life superstars from the 1970s. So apparently, I think the name of this pack officially is the Legends of the Territory Elite 4 pack. And in this 4 pack, you are going to see Muhammad Ali, Gorilla monsoon superstar billy graham and harley race man so look at all these different images man you have so much going on with these guys man and th this is an insane pack this is something i did not realize whatsoever I, I i did not think this was coming and one thing that you're going to notice immediately is we have very unique looks for these guys and also you're going to get two brand new first time in the mattel line wwe championships or not wwe championships but championship ch you know championship belts in general we're getting the nwa championship and the wwwf title which is just absurd. I did not see this coming. I don't think a lot of people saw this coming, man. But breaking down all four figures here, I really love the Muhammad Ali that they chose here. Now, obviously, they got to get as much out of that Muhammad Ali as they possibly can. So it does seem that they're going to put, you know, they're putting him out and they're trying to get, the, they're trying to stretch out that license or stretch out that, you know, that character as much as they possibly can. And they're doing a pretty good job, I would say. I think this is very unique. He's got the suit jacket, the white shirt underneath. He's got the slack pants on with the dress shoes. I like, this may be my favorite Muhammad Ali. Ali that we've seen so far. He's got the, you know, the gold watch in there, which is plugging in another watch in the line, which I like. Gorilla Monsoon, man. Oh my goodness. We're actually getting, you know, Gorilla Monsoon in the ring here, which is crazy. You know, they got all their interchangeable hands. You guys can see the different details of the packaging, of course. And then on the other side, if you there's a platform here, and if you spin that platform around, you will see Harley Race with the championship, and then you have Superstar Billy Graham. Now, what's really awesome, too, is they put the Scott Steiner Elite 105 arms onto the Superstar Billy Graham, and and I think that is so damn good. I love that shirt as well. The championships look so good. The robe. I mean, dude, they, they really knocked this set out of the park. Now, I don't know when these are going up. Maybe we'll get some more information as, you know, we approach WWE World. I imagine we're going to see some really cool displays at World. We're going to get to see, you know, some new lineups and all those different things. But I imagine they probably will have a case dedicated to this set, which is going to be cool. You get more, you know, more close up in person. Can't wait to get some, you know, some of my own footage and showcase it. And that's another thing is we are, when I get to WWE World, on Thursday, I will be doing a walkthrough of the entire, all of the reveals. You know, usually we do the images such as this, but when I'm in person like that and I can actually walk around and cover it, I will give you my thoughts as I'm walking around holding my phone up to the actual reveals and talking about them live in person. It should be like a 30, 40 minute walkthrough and we're going to cover all the details of everything revealed. So that's what I expect to do at WWE World in a couple weeks at WrestleMania. But this pack was crazy. This is, this is probably, I think, my favorite thing that they showed off because I really love the, the introduction of the new championships. I really like that Muhammad Ali. I love all four of these guys and these gears, man. So I, I like this a lot. Again, I don't know exactly what everybody looks like underneath. Like, I don't know what Billy Graham looks like without the shirt at this moment of recording. I don't know what Harley Race looks like at the moment of recording. But all of it looks really, really good, man. I am really hyped for this. And I like these a lot, man. They they did a fantastic job on this pack from where I'm seeing it. And I like these out-of-the-box things, you know. You know, it's not the, you know, it's not a Bloodline 5-pack or something like that. It's not modern, you know, right here, you know, just happened yesterday. But I like these, like, 
steps into the past and bringing out these old things, these old relics into modern WWE action figures. I just think it's awesome. So uh, I'm, I'm hyped for it, you know. I don't have a personal connection to this or anything like that. And the same thing with the Coliseum Collection. You know, I didn't grow up watching Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, right? But I, I still can appreciate this, and, and I love the way it all looks. So it looks pretty damn good, man. I'm very hyped for this pack, and I don't know. Is this going to be an ongoing series? Are we going to see Legends of the Territory Era Series 2 or something like that? Are there going to be more four packs? That's what I'm interested in, because if they were able to do that, I feel like there's so many different things that they could do that will blow our minds. So we'll have to see about that. But I think the biggest thing about that pack for me is probably, I, I love the way the Muhammad Ali looks, but I like, again, I love wrestlers and promo gears. I like wrestlers. And, and I know he's not technically a wrestler, okay? I get that, but I could put another guy in there, right? I could put rock and slacks or something. So, the, you know, it's just the, the thought experiments. Like, did I need Muhammad Ali like this in action figure form? No, but I can take it and I can move some stuff around. I can, you know, put it on action figure surgery, do some really cool stuff and relate it to me, man. That's why, that's why I like, you know, different things in the line because you can take something and if it's not you right front, I'm not looking at the figure for what it is all the time, man. I'm diagnosing the parts and everything like that, and I can use it in a different way. So sometimes that's the way it's got to be. But I like this pack a lot. I think it's going to be epic. Can't wait to see. I don't know what the price point is. I don't know any of those things, man. But these big box sets and packs have become kind of a Mattel creation staple. We know we're getting that LWO 5 pack and things like that. So it's going to be interesting, man. But I'm really hyped for this pack. I think it looks really cool. But then we're moving on to another Elite pack here. And this Elite pack, I do believe Bill said it was an Elite 2 pack. Like a Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Elite 2 pack of Imperium here, man. Look at this right here. We do have Ludwig Kaiser. I'm liking the interchangeable hands here. I like the head sculpt a lot better than his basic, to be honest with you. Looking like my man Fig Hill over there sometimes. But I, I like this, you know. I, I like this. The boots looking solid. You know, not my favorite gear. It doesn't really match the Gunther from Elite 102. It doesn't match, you know, maybe it matches the Ultimate Edition Gunther that we're probably going to see here in a week or so. Who knows about that either, but apparently Gunther's in the next Ultimate Edition wave. Ultimate Edition Series 22 is supposed to be Gunther, Jey Uso, and John Cena. We'll see if that actually comes to fruition or not. I'm really hyped to find out, but I think both these guys look pretty damn good. I'm liking the formulas. I'm liking the head sculpts. Look, these head sculpts look miles better than their basic figures, in my personal opinion. You guys can let me know, but uh, they do have those Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle boots, or not boots, they have the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle knee pads over here, man, and I don't really like that knee pad mold, probably going to switch those out, not the biggest deal, but I like this, the use of the Bobby Roode torso, the arms, I like these formulas, man, I like these formulas, some people were saying, you know, Wade Barrett torso on Ludwig would have been better, maybe, I don't know, maybe it would have made him too tall, I don't really mind this, when I was going to make my own Ludwig Kaiser Elite, I actually had him prepped for surgery, actually, and now I don't know if I'm going to do so, should I do it just to be a placeholder, maybe, but I think that uh, this torso was going to be the torso that I was going to use, so I, I, I respect it. I think this is a solid-looking two-pack. We'll have to see exactly, you know, what comes to fruition with Gunther and what his ultimate looks like, and if you want to pair those together. I mean, you're going to want to pair those together, but it does look like they're going with these gears. Not my favorite gears, but again, maybe they're trying to avoid what they did with their basics and not do the exact same gears that we've seen in those, so maybe that will be the case, man, but we also saw some retros, man. We did get a reveal of the next four retro pack right here, and this retro pack's okay, you know, I do like the Shawn Michaels, they are putting Shawn Michaels in here, which looks really, really good, I like that, it kind of looks like the Elite, not the Elite 100, the Basic 100 head sculpt is what it kind of looks like in the face, but you also have Isaac Yankum, Alundra Blaze, and British Bulldog, so pretty cool pack right here, I like all the gears and stuff like that, I think that Blaze looks good, the head sculpt looks good, Isaac Yankum is a very unique one to put in here, I like the headpiece or the headgear. So I, th I think this is cool, man, and I think I, I could absolutely see them redoing Isaac Yankum in the Greatest Hits wave. I feel like a lot of people missed out on that figure back in the day. Toys R Us exclusive, I think it was, and so I think that we could absolutely see them put him in the Greatest Hits line, especially since we're getting this retro right here. Maybe put him in the From the Vault series, or maybe put him in the Greatest Hits line, or maybe even the Legends Greatest Hits line. I could see them doing Isaac Yankum, but we'll have to see. Also, as far as WWE World, I don't know if they're going to be doing a panel. I'll have to ask Steve about that, or maybe they don't know just yet, but they may be doing a panel, and if they do a panel, then we'll definitely be covering that as well, and you know, the panel, not only will they show off things that are on the shelves already being shown off in prototype form, like reveals, but they'll show off new things that are not on yet on display and have a panel and stuff like that, so they did that last time, and they revealed a ton, so I would imagine they're probably going to do the same thing this year. Last year, it was, it was like Comic-Con, like, like not only did you have things on display, man, you had stuff that was at the Creation Center, at the Mattel Creation Center, or at the, the Mattel Design Center, Center. You had stuff that was on the panel 
that was just a render shot on a slideshow or a PowerPoint presentation. So there were so many things revealed to us, so I don't know if that's going to be the case here, but that was pretty much all we saw, man. But you got to think, the CM Punk was supposed to be a part of this event. So you got to think, like, I know we got that three or four days ago, but you have to pair that with what was revealed today. And I think we got a solid amount. I mean, you had the two new Ultimate Editions. You had the new Elite 2-pack. You had the 4-pack Elite set. You had Retros, and then you were supposed to have another made-to-order Elite CM Punk to be shown off. I think that's enough for a little event like this. I think, I mean, that's a that's quite a bit of a releases there. You kind of uh, go across the entire board when it comes to different eras of wrestling. Maybe it didn't hit the 90s or something like that, but you know what I mean? I, I think that this is a serviceable amount of reveals for today, and I know some people may be disappointed in it, and I'd love to know those things down in the comment section below if you guys were disappointed by this show or this reveal. I event. didn't put too much stake in it. I thought it would be cool to get a few different reveals here, which they did. You know, I did say, you know, a few is three or four. I did say that multiple times that, you know, one is one, two is a couple, a few is anywhere from three to five, and they did exactly what I expected them to do. So we'll just have to stay tuned, man, because WWE World is legitimately, like, not even two weeks away now. So you're looking at a week and a half or something like that until they reveal even more to us. So it's going to be absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to cover it all for you guys here, man. It's going to be a, it's going to be a movie. It's going to be cinema out there. So we should be staying tuned for that, man. But I would love to know all of your thoughts on all this stuff down in the comments section below man where do you stand do you like this stuff do you not like this stuff what are you critiquing i am pretty happy with all the things that they showed off. i'm getting out of here man that is pretty much going to wrap the video huge shout out to our patreon members of the mdt youtube channel man appreciate all you fellas over there man you guys are absolute goaded thank you guys so very much for all that you do hitting up toy lanta in the morning man gonna be hitting up toy lanta if you guys are gonna be there let me know down in the comment section below i'm not gonna sit here and say it 25 times but yeah we'll be there in person to toy hunt and do all those things man but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll catch you later